Hey guys, well I'm out in the shop today and some of you guys may recognize this. This is the saddle from a G0704 and I had someone email me they're doing a conversion on the G0704 and they asked me if I would mill out this pocket for their uh, ball screw mount. Uh, I'm not familiar with this kit, but apparently it needs to be milled out all the way through. And I really didn't have the time to do it, but since I have this machine uh, still kind of in manual mode, and I figured, yeah, I'll, you know, I, I'll, I can take some time and mill this out for him, help him out. So that's what I'm doing. I was actually uh, thought it would be kind of neat just to see the difference between the saddle uh, of the two. Uh, the uh, Precision Matthews 727 goes from here to here and is uh, definitely a lot thicker than the G0704. Now I know I've had a lot of people ask me uh, about the G0704 and why you didn't go because I mean if you look at the specs this particular machine doesn't have the 18 inches of travel that the G0704 does. That's good to have that much travel but when you get out here you want it to be uh, sturdy and stable as well and just looking at the saddle you can see why you don't have the 18 inches of travel um, the saddle is two and a half inches narrower than the Precision Matthews so the table is going to move two and a half inches further this way and two and a half inches further this way so that's five inches there so that's how they get the 18 inches of travel that they get with the G0704. The table dimensions are the same. It's seven and a half inches by 27 and a half. Or I think the G0704 is maybe 26 and a half. But that's how they get the 18 inches of travel. But as you can see, uh, when you do a side by side, um, it's definitely a uh, smaller piece. This piece probably weighs, I don't know, 11 pounds, 10 pounds, I'll say 10 pounds. I'm not sure what this piece weighs, but it is uh, definitely a lot beefier than the 704. This is a great meal for the price point. You know, $1,200 shipped to your house. Uh, it's a great meal for that. But you can't compare this meal to this meal. You just can't compare the two. As you can see, it's just a lot bigger meal. So, he asked me to mill this out for him, and I was a little hesitant. It's just basically straight through milling this pocket out, so I figure, well, I'll give it a shot and uh, see if we can mill it out. Haven't done any uh, manual milling actually haven't done any milling on the Precision Matthews so I'm going to get this clamped and squared up I've got a 5 16 inch end mill in here and I'll just go in and mill this pocket out until this ball nut drops through okay so I've got it mounted in here I've got my 5 16 inch end mill in here and uh, I've got it squared up and I'm just going to kind of do just a outline of what I want to take off I'm going to double check it and then I'll Go a little deeper.
kind of wished he would have mocked up the center line. I'm just having to try to guess about the center line. The guy with the provided the kit, he didn't really give any instructions, but he did tell you what the measurements to leave. But you know, all these castings are different, and it's hard to tell. I've definitely got clearance for all this, so I guess I'll trim this up, and then uh, if I need to, I can come back and shave a little here and there. <laughs> Okay, let's see. All right. I've got the majority of it notched out, and now I just, if I need to come back, I'm going to double check the fit, and then if I need to come back and shave a little bit off, I'll do that. So let me get this cleaned up and we can check. All right, we got the saddle all milled out. Uh, turned out pretty good. And uh, Precision Matthews worked pretty well. I'm not sure you know, why this configuration is the way it is. I don't know. Seems like to me that this could have went like this just as easy as it could have went like that. But since I don't have all the pieces, I don't really know. And I'm not sure how the kit was designed, but in the video the guy demonstrates it being like so and he does say that show he doesn't say it, but he does show that it's milled all the way through so that's the way we did it I, I don't think you need to mill all the way through with Billy's kit uh, but anyhow you can definitely see the size difference between the Precision Matthews saddle and the G0704 saddle. Uh, a big difference. Uh, in fact, the saddle's not even maybe half as high, half as tall as the uh, Precision Matthews saddle. Uh, this is definitely a substantially bigger meal than the G0704. Um, so, if you're considering the 704 and you're not really sure, uh, it's always good to go a little bit bigger uh, as big as you can fit in your space if I had the room I would have probably went with the 
the the 45 series and it's even a little bit bigger than this so but so far it's a good size and so Chad here's your uh, saddle it's coming to you hopefully it, it's milled out exactly the way you need it I tried to leave as much meat as I possibly could that's why I wanted him to send me the uh, the mount I did have a a ball nut that I had in here earlier doing all my fitting and it turned out good so thanks for watching please subscribe to the YouTube channel thumbs up if you like the video and most importantly, be safe.